Whenever we started teaching robotics, um, we, we saw a problem in that if you use it inside of a classroom, lots of classrooms don't have enough robots for students. And then also, if a student misses a day of class, more often than not, they don't have a robot at home that they can go and make up the work. So what we try to do with the Robot Virtual World software is emulate exactly what the student does with a real robot, but in a simulated environment. Inherently, there are things with a virtual environment that you can't teach with a physical robot. So we never look at it as a true replacement, but rather it's the ability to go out and buy a set of hardware for a classroom, but then by pairing the Robot Virtual World software, you give the students to continue their education even when they're outside of the classroom. We've been constantly adding new features and new things, uh, support for more sensors and more motors, and to make it more like the real thing or take it in a completely different fantasy direction. The Level Builder allows for students and teachers to build their own custom challenges on a 12 by 12 foot table and they can place everyday classroom items in a virtual space like balls, walls, tiles and then create different challenges. So the Level Builder also comes with the model importer. Students and teachers can build their own 3D objects and then import them. And the other latest tool that we have is the measurement toolkit that allows for intelligent path planning and the students no longer have to guess how far their robot's going to travel. Another feature that we're putting in is what's called badges or achievements, which isn't a new thing, but with education, it's not as common yet. They have the robot complete a challenge or you know, traverse this outer space or under the water and those kinds of things. They earn achievements or they earn badges. And then this is great because it keeps them engaged and hooked. The other thing that's really nice is if a student is associated with a teacher, the, the teacher can also quickly get a snapshot and see, oh, what badges has the student earned? So we develop these tools. We also do research on, uh, on the learning science that's involved, um, on the effectiveness of the tools, um, and in how they can be best aligned to help students be prepared for the 21st century. We conducted a study last fall. Uh, we had a local teacher. This teacher taught uh, two sections of robotics. One section used nothing but physical robots. The other section used virtual robots. He used the exact same curriculum in both sections. Uh, the one section in the Robot Virtual Worlds finished in a little over 50 days. The next section took almost 90 days. So research has shown that programming with Robot Virtual Worlds is significantly more efficient than learning to program using only physical robots.